This is true. Now, the last topic of the day. Let's go ahead and dive into this. We're uh, we're a couple of days behind it, but I feel like we wanted to get our bearings. Um, I wasn't sure the best way to discuss it. Uh, Therese Paler wrote a good article over at Yahoo about this. And the title of the article is, Will Rooney Rule Revamp Work? The onus is on NFL to snuff out sham interviews and get team owners to get serious. Now, the initial... Uh, rumors that came out were if you hire a minority uh, candidate, you would get extra draft picks and you would get all these different things, et cetera. What they ended up doing is different. Now, had they had they done that, I mean, that's a little crazy, but I, I we're not going to get into that part of it. Um, they said teams, and this was actually passed on Tuesday, Uh, teams will now be required to interview at least two external minority candidates for a head coaching job instead of one. They will also be required to interview one external minority candidate for coordinator, general manager, and senior football operations positions, as well as a wide range of executive positions instead of none. Uh, Additionally, clubs passed a resolution that will bar teams from blocking assistant coaches for interviewing for coordinator jobs with other teams. That's the biggest one. Yeah, that's a massive, massive one. Um, and that's a that's a big deal, and it it's got nothing to do with minority candidates whatsoever. It's just now your organization cannot block you from applying for other jobs or for for talking to other teams. Um, I think that's here it we has go. to be for a coordinator position. But currently, the way the rule is is if you're under contract as a coach. I mean, we see this happen all the time. Teams ask permission: Can I interview this guy? Can I interview that guy? And if you say no, you say no. I mean, the Patriots had – right now, Houston Texans tried to interview a personnel guy for the Patriots. That That's one of their personnel and, and scouter, scouting guys, uh, uh, you know, last year or whatever. And Bill said no. He's under contract. He's, he's in his last year's contract. We're not going to just let you interview for him. We're not going to let him go. And, uh, and now you don't have the right to say no as long as it's a, it's a, it's a step up. It has to be a coordinator position or head coach position. It can't be a lateral move. Um, but uh, but this guy was interviewing. He's a scout now. He's a personnel guy now, and he was interviewing for the general manager job. That would have that would have been allowed. So, um, yeah, I think that's going to be the biggest thing that affects people. A lot of folks have come out. We, I can't understand the math on it. All right, I I don't understand how you we. I still don't understand how we we have the failure rate of the black head coaches that we have. I think I think they're making a mistake with the Rooney Rule. Well, I, I think, I'll, I'll tell you, like, let me let me go on and put this in in layman's terms, I guess, for yeah. why okay, black do that. The reason why black coach, black head coaches fail typically now, not all of them. Obviously, we've had some really good ones, yeah. um, but a lot of them end up failing because when they get offered a head coaching job, typically. It is a really, really bad job, but they feel like they I have take to it. take the opportunity because yeah. they may not get another one. That's and it. You, you got to stop thinking like that, right? I think I think they're pushed into jobs too quickly. I think Steve yeah. Wilkes has a chance to be a really good coach, and he was given the Arizona Cardinals job in the middle of a tank job. Okay, yeah. and then they said, "Well, you law, you bad. They hold your record over you." And this is this is what I was worried about with with Brian Flores. I was terrified this was going to happen in Miami as soon as we all thought this team's tanking. They're getting rid of all their good players. Yeah. And 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 no maybe not this year, maybe not he's not one and done, but in 3 or 4 years if he hasn't won a lot, guess what? They're going to give his overall whole record. And not one person is going to say, "Yeah, but that first year we were tanking." So well, in, take the, in the, the second first year, year out of it. In the second no year, no one's going to do rookies. that. They're going to say Look at your record. Look at what you did. This is justification for firing you. Yeah. I yeah. think they're pushed into these jobs too much, too fast. But one guy that I am I'm actively worried about because I think he can be unbelievable. I'm biased because I loved him as a player. I really, really like him as Byron Leftwich. We talk about this all the time. Oh, yeah. At, at, as soon as anybody thinks he's ready, they're going to say, you have to take a job because it's for the good of everybody. And really – 
man, let's wait until you're ready and the right team comes open because you're the right guy. You're good. You're good to get this job, but you don't want to be one of these guys. This is a sacrificial lamb. You just don't. Yeah. I mean, the the smart thing, honestly, at like it, how old is Andy Reid? How old is Bruce Arians? Right? Arians already retired once. About, Arians has already retired once. The best thing for him to do is hang on in Tampa. The yeah. problem is, is you have no idea what that team is going to look like in two years if Tom Brady is gone. That's, we, that's we true. You don't know their plan for quarterback with life after Tom. But but you do hope that, you know, it, that the culture is built correctly so that whoever does come in afterwards, because, I, you know, we can talk about all oh, the Patriots are going to be awful this year. I, neither one of us thinks that because the culture is built so well. The only people that think like, that are media people yeah. that, that have that have just seen the Patriots bully their team for so long and they're all they're all just butthurt and they just think that it's all gonna end now. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah, spent is, twenty years saying Tom Brady was a system quarterback and now they're gonna spend the next five, ten years saying, you know, or this year saying, Well, you know, it was all Tom Brady. It was all Tom. I mean, Tom. if if you look at the the Eagles when they lost Carson Wentz. Uh, they still went on and won a Super Bowl. Even if they hadn't, it still would have been a successful season. Absolutely. But but it didn't matter who was at quarterback, really. That's right. Like now, obviously, you got to have somebody that's competent. But right. but what I'm saying is the culture and the the team and the scheme and everything was built so well, it didn't matter who came in there. I Leftwich right. knows everything that Arians is doing. Eric yeah. Bieniemy knows everything that Andy Reid is doing. If Leftwich if Leftwich leaves and he takes over Jacksonville, this is not this is not good for the Rooney Rule and this is not good for the furthering of of black head coaches. Right. In my opinion, now he could be unbelievable there. All right, he could do great, but I just think that's this is what happens. This is what happens. It's what happened to uh, to Broyles uh, uh, it, 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 with the Jets. What do you What do you think about the whole thing where they have to um, they have to interview two? Minority I think candidates. Good. I do think it's better. So basically what you got to get is you have to get these owners comfortable with, with the idea of these guys doing it. And what's going to help that is the management positions. Now you're going to get more of these guys in management. And then once they're in management, it will trickle down. You're going to be more comfortable because you, the, you, you as an owner spend very little time with, with the, you spend zero time with the coordinators. Okay? Right. You spend minimal time with the head coach, maybe some depending on how hands-on as owner you are. You spend a lot of time with your general manager and assistant general manager. You spend a shitload of time with those guys. Okay. Yeah. I I think I think once you start seeing more black, black uh, uh, candidates get those those jobs, it will all trickle down from there. Um, but we have to have opportunities where these guys just aren't set up for failure. We just we just have to. The Arizona Steve Wilkes in Arizona. And uh, oh my God, how do I forget this guy's name? The ah, the, oh, the former Jets the coach, who, um, Todd uh, Todd Bowles. Todd Bowles, yeah, Todd Bowles. That's it, Todd Bowles. The, both those guys were set up for complete failure. The Jets have been a joke for for a decade, and uh, and Arizona was in the middle of a rebuild. Yeah. They were literally in the middle of a tank job. That's what they were doing was tanking. He's a sacrificial lamb. Sorry, tough. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's the happened. way it goes. And, and I'm going to tell you, Brian Flores, I want good things for him. I want good things for Miami. I want them to do well. But if he struggles in year, not two, but let's say year three or year four, at some point in time, they're going to hold up his whole resume. And not one person's going to say, oh, you really need to take those 11 losses off of him. Yeah. Because those aren't his. It's still kind of miraculous that he won five games last year. Yeah. I mean, that's, uh, what he did with that team was no, un- I, I, I completely agree, but nobody's going to give him credit for those five wins, and no, and nobody's going to ease the blame for those 11 losses. Nobody. Yeah. McKinnon and that's jumps. bullshit. I think that's nobody. patently wrong. I think, yeah, I, I 100% agree I mean, we, we hang on. Yeah. Not not a Rooney Rule situation, not a not a black situation or minority situation. But we we did it with uh oh what's his ass the head coach that was at Rutgers. That Football. was at Rutgers. Uh, yeah, Greg Schiano. Yeah. Greg Schiano. We absolutely did with Greg Schiano. Everybody's like, look at his overall record. He was terrible. He was terrible. He took over the worst football program in all of college football. Yeah. And in three years, had him bowl, go into bowl games. In four years, had him going to a BCS bowl. Well, people talk about that with Mario Cristobal as well uh, because and, of and where he started. those first two years, 
You got to throw those first two years away. You got to take them and you got to put them in the shredder and say, I'm never going to look at them again. Banner Society, look- Banner Society it- did a, a smart thing. They said year zero. Right, so yes. like things yes. like Jeff Collins at Georgia Absolutely Tech. Absolutely, year zero. Georgia That's Tech it. winning four games last year was unbelievable. Pretty unbelievable because he was switching from a team that was built for triple option to move them more pro style. You yes. got a whole roster full of guys that only know how to play one way. That, that cannot play conventional football. That yeah. cannot not. They they could be okay. Maybe we can teach them. It's going to be a learning curve. They can't physically do it. Well, and, and you only had uh, 15 practices in the spring yep. and then 15 practices in the fall I, I in just, order to get I them just switched. Think, I think these coaches get thrown into jobs so fast. Uh, Brian Flores, I hope that he's in unbelievable, and I'm I'm pulling for him. I'm a, I'm a Brian Flores guy. I'm in the tank with him. He had one year of running the defense, but he wasn't even the defensive coordinator. Bill just took the defensive coordinator job and said, I'm going to do it. And he let Brian Flores do some of the other stuff. And he let Brian actually call defensive plays during the game. That's it. One year of that and instantly got to get him a head coach job. Yeah. Got to get it to him now. And if it doesn't work out, he's just another guy. And guess what? These guys don't get second and third chances. No. Oh, no. There are no Mike McCar- the black Mike McCarthy's out there. They know, you know, Jason, Jason Garrett got an OC job. Are you kidding me? That guy's never run an offense a day in his life. Well, now, to be fair, like, Wilkes and Bowles both ended up with defensive coordinator positions, but oh yeah, but they 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 won't ever see another head coaching job. No, but in that record that that they got in that one or second first or second year, whatever it is, yeah. uh, that'll be held up forever. Forever, like, forever. That, forever. that stuff doesn't go away. They were both away. elite level. I mean, Wilkes Wilkes went to the Browns. That's who I wanted. Who who I wanted was the coaching staff in Tampa right now. That's yeah. that's all I wanted in my life in Cleveland. That's that's all oh, I wanted last year. Hundred percent. Uh, let's I jump was into open the, and honest about it. I let, wanted Bowles, Todd Bowles. I wanted Byron Leftwich, and I wanted Bruce Arians. That's what I wanted. Let's let's get into the comments real quick. McKinnon said the Chiefs OC Eric Bieniemy uh, would be a great head coach. Personally, I think he's waiting on Andy to retire to just take the reins. Yeah, I don't know when no, he's Andy's trying to get other jobs. He's not sitting around waiting. Yeah, I, I, I will assure you of that. Uh, here, uh, uh, Michael said, "I wish Eb would have come to Colorado and been the head coach uh, again." No, that's a huge step down. Setting up for failure, especially for when he would have been hired in at the end of February. That's a like, massive step backwards, yeah. too, man. This guy's this close to getting an NFL job. He's this close to getting an NFL job. If he takes that Colorado job, he's 10, 15 years away from getting an NFL job. Oh, 100%. Because you will never I be able to Maybe never win. getting it. Yeah, you'll never be able to win national championships um, at Colorado. It's just no. not like yes, they won and won. You're not in winning Pac-12 championships. It's just not happening. Yeah, it's it's not it's not in today's college football. That's just the way it goes. Uh, McKinnon said, if Dan Quinn doesn't succeed this year, I think the uh, enemy, uh, or I think he's out, and I'd love to see the Falcons pick up the enemy. Um, well, I want to be enemy in Cleveland last year, but uh, you know, yeah, I'm okay with I'm okay with the guy they got. I'm all right. So Matt said, uh, I love how everyone praised Larry Coker for winning the national title his first year, but that wasn't even his team. Larry Coker ended up having a really good record. Uh, and he got fired after going like nine and three, but I mean, you could see the wheels coming off of that program. Yep. Like yep. you, it, it, that's a that's a backwards version of what we're talking about, right? When the wheels have fallen off and everything is going to hell, that's when a lot of these guys get hired in, and it's just not right. It, it's basically it's Alabama hiring Mike Shula in May, you know, it's it's uh, Ole Miss hiring Matt Luke in July. Like they don't even have a fair shake. It's just not right. So, yeah, I think this is actually a, a step in the right direction. I think, you know, high, you got to get the front office people. You got to get the front office people changed over. That will help change everything because yeah. those people are actually around the decision makers every day. 100%. 100%. Coordinators are not. Coordinators just it, aren't. It, and the quarterbacks coach and all these other guys, they're just not. With they're the Rooney rule, that when they only had to interview one candidate, Everybody was bringing in the same guy, and it was that's the, right. One, one, one token yeah. black guy got passed around the league, like like and it was, was Marvin Lewis Booker like, that was paid for for some basketball recruitment thing, and everybody gets a turn, and then they get to put him back where they bought where where they found him, and and, and they, they already have the guy, the guy they that wanted. they want. Yeah, it was just it was just a joke from that point forward. That's but the, all the, it was. But the truth is, once you interview enough, I mean, it, it's what happened with Mike uh, Mike Tomlin. Yeah. Uh, you interview enough, you interview well. You are going to impress people. You are going to get a good job, and that's 
that's the way it goes. I think this is a step in the right direction. I think it's a good job. Um, let's see. Michael said, I agree, a step back, but as a Colorado guy, I would have liked to see him come back. Yeah. I mean, yeah, obviously, at being a homer, yeah, you want the best for the program. Yeah, that's but, different. But, <laughs> but, but for him. That's not good for him and his family. Yeah, for him, not not the best. He is, uh, he is this close to having one of 32 jobs. Yeah. That's a, like Chris says all the time, there's only 32 of them things. There's only so, um, Yeah. You so, got to. You got to. Which is why people take even the bad ones. Right. That's that's it. You you got to trust the owners. Not going is if they're bringing you in under a rebuild, that you just got to trust that the owner is going to give you some leeway. The owners in Arizona absolutely did not. No. They they if, if anybody got screwed at all, Steve Wilkes got it more than anybody else. Oh yeah, I mean Todd Bowles at least got several years with the Jets. Yeah, he. But, I think what he get two or three. He didn't get many. He got three. He, I know he didn't get more than three. Yeah, but he he got three and and Wil- honestly Wilkes he looked the, okay. But yeah. And nobody's ever going to look really good with the Jets, I don't think. Rex Ryan had two fantastic years um, yep. and couldn't get to the Super Bowl. Made it to the AFC Championship game two years in a row with Mark Sanchez as a quarterback. But, you know, that was all on that defense. That's all that was. So, uh, has we got broke- cha- to change the front office in the NFL. That's yeah. that's what's going to happen. And, I, and I, think th- GMs. I think this will help. I do, too. I, do, I absolutely do, too. Well, mainly because they added the assistant GM as part of that as well. The owner might be slow to pull the trigger on the GM, but I, I I would venture to say that you could get 15 new assistant GMs in there, and, and you know as 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 minority candidates pretty quickly. Yeah, in, in the next couple of years, and and those guys shine, and they'll get they'll get jobs fast, real fast. Yeah, no, you're uh, you're 100 percent right. Um, I'm checking to see if anything is broken, and I don't believe. Anything has. Da, 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 da. Nope. No, I think we are all good for the rest of the day. You hadn't seen any topics, have you? Nope. That's it. That is it. All right. You guys have been fantastic. Of course, the chat, you guys drive the conversation. We appreciate all of you for being here. Make sure and check out tunicatravel.com, Tunica, Mississippi. The casinos are opening back.